hey welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little different i am going to sit down and really put you on to what you should bring if you're going on your first cruise okay so let's get into it we have a lot to go over hey you guys welcome back to zanju does if this is your first time on my channel i do a lot of life advice hair videos vlogs a lot of everything really at this point but today i'm looking at my phone because we're gonna do a very informative video listen i have been dabbling a little bit into the cruise life traveling things like that so i have my ipad here and my phone and i'm going to read to you guys just like i wanted to provide you guys with information i wish i knew when i was like going on my first cruise or yeah this is really going to be the cruise base um the cruises i've been on is just carnival cruise um i've been on two or three different ones at this point i've been on carnival venezia carnival celebration um the next one that we're going to go on is carnival mardi gras so yes yeah, so i wanted to make this little video for you guys so if this is what you're looking forward to watch, then keep on watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it because we have a lot to go over. The first thing, okay? When you're planning a trip, a cruise, or any trip, period, you need to think about how many outfits you're going to need per day. If your trip is like seven days, don't bring only seven outfits. Please hear me out. I, for me personally, I like to bring one outfit for the day and one outfit for the night. Will I be using both? It depends, right? It depends. You also have to know yourself as a traveler or as a person in general. Do you sweat a lot? Do you, when you eat food, are you messy? Like how often, like when you're out on vacations or anywhere, are you adventurous? You get dirty often. So you're like, you need to think about those things, right? You know, some people have the luxury of like re-wearing their outfits too throughout the week. I don't. I'm, you have to know yourself. Like I I'm a one and done person like that's why I bring a, a morning fit and then a night fit so yeah that's kind of how I gauge it too and then of course sometimes your outfit for the day if you're on a boat is your bathing suit and a cover-up like you know you have to also consider that as well so speaking of like you know a cruise more specifically when you're on a boat right if this is your first time you've never been on one right it gets really hot in certain places some parts are conditioned like ac some parts are not and i'm specifically talking about carnival um each boat is very different you guys i'm sure you know that by now but if you don't yes that is a thing but i think i can say all around the board that some like some parts are ac cool and some parts are really hot like the sun is directly hitting you so just keep that in mind when choosing an outfit and then the amount of outfits also should depend on what events you're going to join so on these boats they have a lot of events they have like white night um captain's dinner you know things like that so just also keep that in mind okay. as well so speaking of events how many events are usually on these boats it depends on two things right how long the boat is the theme of the boat like you know what kind of boat it is the name and all those things they usually have themed events throughout the week i'm correct you don't know the itinerary until you're on the boat exactly however there's a lot of facebook pages that you can join where they say hey i just got off of this boat this is what they did that week like they did this party this party and this party and then you're like okay period i'm gonna bring a little mask for this one i want to bring an all white outfit for that one so um just keep that in oh sorry just keep that in mind you can also research these things too so for example they have these are just examples of parties i've seen white night or my laundry's done. uh white night 80s party fancy night captain's dinner so that's it so just keep that in mind okay now when we're talking about clothes and events and all those things footwear okay listen i remember when i was going on my first boat and i said to like i was at physical therapy okay for my back and there's a lot of like older women there and i was like hey have you guys ever been on a boat and they was putting me on game they're like girl you are gonna walk so much please make sure you have good footwear and i'm like what do you mean by that they're like you are going to walk a lot like my friends and family have said to me you are going there's a lot of walking do not underestimate the walking there's a lot of walking i took the information lately went on my first cruise and girl what, I, what i'll tell you is i think we had i think in one day i burned like 900 to a thousand calories from all the walking and you don't really notice how much you're walking but the boat is big you're walking often you're going to different parts of the boat everything is not next to each other necessarily your room to where you go eat to this place to this place like walking on the island like it is a lot of walking when you think about it so please keep in mind for my fashionista girlies listen i 
do sacrifice a little bit of the fashion for comfortable footwear like that's not something i play with anymore i really like to bring my hokas i don't know if you guys know what that shoe is but the hokas are really great um i feel like they pair nicely with a lot of different outfits and then i also have um ufu slides and these were both co-signed by my physical therapist as well i have brought those both to my last trip and i can absolutely tell you that it made the hugest difference because i went one time i went to dr it was not a cruise and I had the worst footwear at that trip that I ended up having like shin splints and I like it was bad like I had to lay down for like a few hours it was just bad so please keep that in mind please take it serious um, as far as like the flooring if you are curious most of these boats have like carpeted and then just like regular flooring then you have to remember you're going to walk on sand when you get off the boat things like that so yeah just keep footwear like you know what I mean also something as a sign note for footwear some of these islands and um, beaches do have like um, rocky like rock hard like rocks in the sand like very hard and sharp um so if you are someone like for me i wasn't used to that in my foot like i kept banging into everything and i was like damn like i wish i had little water shoes or whatever so just also keep that in mind okay okay bathing suits so this is really up to your comfort level you bring out you bring however many you want but let me tell you this okay in my experiences so far I've had interior rooms. That means no balcony, no nothing. So it's just like in there. I find that the circulation, as in just to like wash something, take off my bathing suit, hang it up, and expect it to be dry by the next day, was very poor. Even if we had the AC on or the heat, it was just like always damp. Too for too long, in my opinion. Like I've been to a lot of trips before, and I can get a bathing suit to dry very quickly. But then again, it makes sense because you're in a boat and like your room is an interior and whatever. Keep that in mind. My biggest suggestion is. Bring extra bathing suits if you use one the day before wear a different one the next day but bring the one that you used the day before try to dry it out wherever you are if you're gonna sit and tan for the day on the boat put your bathing suit next to you let it dry out like put it near the sun you know what i mean so try to find a way some boats have laundry service i believe the ones i've been on have not had that and i really don't partake in that and i think that you do have to pay for that service also so I make do with what I have. But yeah, bring enough bathing suits. I'm, I'm sure if you're going somewhere tropical, you know what to expect. But yeah, I bring, I usually bring three or four bathing suits because I feel like I can reuse that and I just keep in mind to dry them as I go. Intimate apparel, um, if you want to call it that, like pajamas, underwear, things like that. I feel like this is a personal preference thing. You know, some people like to sleep naked, not I'm not talking about myself. I'm saying some people like to sleep naked. Some people like to sleep with the big ass pajamas on. Some people like to just keep it real simple. A two piece set. Like think about it for yourself. This can go for a boat trip or any trip period. Just know yourself and know what pajamas you want to bring. What you like to wear. I will say just as a tip. In general if this is your first trip ever or your first boat. Whatever whatever. Always bring extra intimate apparel. Bras and underwear and things like that. Because you never know what can happen. I can tell you, I know people who have been on a boat and they had to stay on extra days because of weather. So it can definitely happen and you just want to be prepared. You never ever know. And I just do this at any trip I go on. So just a little tip to pass them on to you. Toiletries. I don't know if you want, really want to call this that. Products, personal care. I cannot emphasize this enough. As a curly haired girly, if you watch my content, the makeup, everything, leave the full size products at home. I know you're like girl you have to understand listen i get you leave them at home if you can okay bring with you the travel size of anything know how, you have to know yourself for this one for in particular know how much products you need okay yes the boat has like a little complimentary conditioner shampoo soap but it, if you have a routine you know what i mean and you got it down packed the only thing I would say bring in full size is sunscreen for sure sunscreen yeah I mean and if you've never been on a trip before period and if you're going on a flight and things like products pop open guys like this is not a phenomenon this is real I've had this happen before where even like there's a trick where you can tape the top of it and it will not all open and bust open and spread all over the place um that's false it does pop open sometimes too so just keep that in mind okay so when we're getting on the boat let's talk about it we're gonna talk about luggage now okay so when you're getting on the boat and i'm looking down because i need to get some keywords out to you guys um when you're preparing for embarkment which is getting on the boat there's a process that you can 
use right so you would check in your luggage and they will bring it to your room so once you get on the boat you just need to wait for your room to be ready just so you know the actual process of like you getting on the boat and then the boat going skirt and like going and taking off to the island is like it takes a while for the first time like it takes like four to five hours basically for people to get on the boat and check in and everybody needs to wait and just vibe and just wait and then also we did this the other day because we're going on a trip soon a few days before the boat they have you pick a check-in time for when you're going to get on the boat so also make sure you do that when you do your first cruise i always say if you're going to check in your bag right to be brought in front of your room keep your carry-on or in your have a backpack or a purse and keep your personal belongings like gum phone charger like things like that i will say there's not yeah on the boat there's not like public charging ports from what i remember like you want to charge your phone you gotta do that shit in your room like there's no other unless it's a casino from what i remember so also keep that in mind but just have like a bag or something on you so that you can so you can like have have some things if you need it while you're waiting for the room to be ready okay and the reason you're waiting for the room to be ready is because it's a literal turnover like people come in people get out like that's how cruises are they ha they have to like turn everybody out like you guys all need to get out all over the cleaning staff the amazing cleaning staff which i love and respect they all come in tidy it up freshen it up for you and it takes a few hours and like you know what i mean so it's a whole thing so when i say you're gonna wait you're gonna have to wait and just keep that in mind okay so when it comes to bringing money on these trips you don't necessarily have to exchange your money to where you're going from what i've seen and from what I, you know, I'm always with people who have been on more cruises than I have. They don't really change their currency. I would say from what I've noticed is it's best to use a credit card at these places. Now, I know it kind of sucks because you're like, what are you implying? But yes, I'm implying exactly what it sounds like because I've seen it happen. Scams can happen. It's out of your control. Yeah, so if you have a good credit card that can refund you if anything goes sour, if you buy something off the, on the island, you're saving your butt. Cash is different, like... You know what I mean? And, and all that other stuff. So just keep that in mind. But don't let it like ruin your experience. Prohibited items on the boat. Now, I'm not about to tell you the whole list. Because it is a long list. But I will do like some of them for you, okay? Weapons. Illegal drugs. They do have sniffing dogs. So don't try to be sneaky. Uh, I, it's not worth it. Like they have the right to kick you off the boat. The next island at whatever stop at any point they can kick you off the boat. They can put you in their little jail. I don't know where the jail is. Apparently gossip. It's um sp supposedly at the bottom of the boat. But like not like literally bottom but like at the last floor and like all this other stuff. So I would not risk it or you're going to pay a big fine as well. Like it's a whole thing. Like just don't even risk it. No pepper spray. You cannot bring your own alcohol. I know there's ways to get around that. You do your research. You make your decisions wisely. But they do check. And if you're caught, I warned you. But yeah, you technically cannot bring your own L. However, you can bring your own wine. And they have like little rules around that. I think that they allow each person per room to bring one wine bottle in. You know, so yeah, that's that on that. Apparently on their website it says no razors or scissors, but I can confirm with you. I brought scissors for my lashes. I definitely brought razor for my armpit and, you know, my leg hair. So I don't know about that one. I don't know if that's like, mm, you know, I'm sure some more people are stricter about checking all the luggage and other people are a little more passive. I'm sure it depends, but I'm just letting you know so you know that that is on the website. But yeah, use use what I said with caution. I'm also going to link below the all the prohibited items on the boat and then other things regarding from what I've said about this, these trips so when you get to any island getting off the boat at your stops your ports it is like really important you should bring a bag bag of some sort because you are provided with a towel from carnival that you are required to return back so um you and your roommate whoever's in the room with you you guys get a towel and you're required to bring it back and then you also you know you have you, have, you need to have somewhere to put your sunscreen your phone your room card things like that like just keep that in mind like a beach bag is what i'm suggesting but that's what we do no problems there and yeah i just think it's something that people kind of forget sometimes so just keep that in mind so some very boat specific items when traveling here are some helpful things that are cruise related that i feel like went unnoticed number one straw please know that carnival does not provide regular straws they provide candy straws sugar straws and although it's cute for the first day after a while after seven days of drinking your beverages out of a candy straw 
trust me so if you're a straw person you're big on straws get your own pack of straws i don't think you should get the plastic one you get you should get the refillable one reusable one where you can just rinse it off in the sink and whatever i don't play about the straw so i bring my own straws i also even bring like a refillable drinking cup i just like it i like to do the insulated one so my drink can stay cold the whole time so just try that keep that in mind magnetic hooks so fun fact someone i know put me on they said that the boat walls are magnetic so if you put a little hook on it like a magnetic one it works it sticks onto the wall um i think it's good to just hang up things like your bathing suit for example maybe what you're gonna wear for later on in the day things like that i like it it's fun um like when we're done with all our partying and having fun we like to hang up our keys on it too just so we know where our things are um i find it very helpful door decorations people really enjoy decorating their door with their little their little magnets their pineapples and their little things that they want to put on there it's fine keep in mind for my birthday we did have a little a little bit of some door decoration and some badass kids were just playing with it the whole time they were just writing whatever making a mess like it was kind of annoying so keep that in mind people do steal just because you're on a boat there have been people that complain that they have their things stolen from them their door their little decorations and they were sad and keep that in mind because that is a thing <clears throat> so rubber ducks this is a tradition that people do on boats i don't know when it started but basically um people it's like a whole cruise community thing like people will bring their own ducks with like name location everything like these ducks are from they'll get a pack of ducks place them all over the boat and they'll be like one duck will say this is jerry this is from jerry and tim from boston massachusetts please post if you found this because there's facebook pages and stuff right so the goal is to find ducks hidden on the boat i don't know who started that tradition but it's like a big thing themed shirts themed family shirts a lot of families will come in like matching tops i love seeing it it's really cute it's sweet um i've never done it before but it is a thing so if you're going with your family don't feel bad a lot of people do it often and you should join it's really fun and it looks cool it'll be like 20 people deep all with like a pink shirt that says so-and-so family blah, blah 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 so it's really fun luggage tags um i feel like luggage tags are super helpful super beneficial um and i also feel like it helps a lot for the people that take the luggage to the rooms as well but yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen and yeah i really like these they're very helpful i really enjoy it i think it's self-explanatory like i feel like it's very helpful it's good and i like it so this is not like a cruise specific thing but packaging cubes mm, 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 mm. so underrated i feel like it makes everything fit in your luggage perfectly i just feel like it if you're vacationing anywhere you need to get some they make all the difference like i love package cubes make sure you also get some sea sickness prevention i have not experienced that thankfully thank god but it can get really bad for some people so make sure you take the extra measures to get that they make like bracelets like stickers like think like just google what's best for you but that is something that you do you should keep in mind good footwear a good bag and then i feel like keep in mind ha maybe having pockets if you don't want to always have a damn purse okay have a nice pocket full outfit um because that's also really really good because you do, i'm not kidding you walk a lot okay let's see um, and then also i did ask some of my friends who i have gone on a boat with with kids um, what are some things that they felt like could have stayed home, could have came, so that what they said was they felt that bringing snacks and milk was helpful for their kids, like, in the meantime. Um, I will say there's, a, like, a plethora of food, but however, I know kids are, like, really picky. I don't think there was, ex milk was as accessible on the boat, though, so I think milk is you know or if your kid drinks only a specific type of milk just bring it even for like late night sleeping things like that they say that a stroller was extremely helpful and i agree i could tell that they were at ease with the strollers and then lastly some sand toys just so the kids have something to do when they're on the island besides excursions but like sometimes they're just too little for all that you know what i mean so just something to do in the sand or just playing in the beach like it seems like it was fun for them so your trip is over now it's time to get off the boat and that is called debarkation and what is that like what is that like let's talk about it. there's two processes and i have to read it because it's a lot for me so i'm gonna read it to you so we have process one and process two in process one of debarkation you can choose to carry off your own luggage you'd simply keep your luggage with you in the morning and then get off with everyone else during this process keep in mind that you will be coming off the boat 
all at the same time so it'll be crowded it is also the most crowded day as in no one's in the room anymore no one's eating food anymore like everyone's in like usually like the middle of the boat like all there waiting and although that's a lie like people be eating their breakfast early in the morning still but it's like extremely crowded do you know what i mean and that's also like the only meal available because people are about to get off the boat so i've noticed a lot of people try not to miss that meal and it's very crowded like very but yes and then also you do need to leave the room extremely early and i think with this option especially because you're considered the first people off the boat like when i say early like probably six a.m seven i've never done this process so keep that in mind but it's not like I think it's not the most convenient, but if you have a flight and things and, and things you need to get to, it makes sense, you know? Process two, which is what I do, I check my luggage, and basically you leave your luggage prepared the night before outside of your room. Um, you leave it outside of the door, and then again, the kind stewardesses, um, they come and collect them, and you get, you pick up this like zone tag, right? And so basically, you put the zone tag on your luggage, and then... A tip for you too if you came with like a whole group of people everybody try to get the same zone tag because basically everybody will when you get off everybody's luggage will be in the zone tag that you picked if that makes sense you'll wake up in the morning and i believe that what they do is they call people out by their zones yes and then um the latest time you have to be off the boat period point blank for anybody it's 10 30 a.m so that's how quick that morning goes like for everybody who have to go by 10 30 a.m please let me know if you feel like this was helpful in any way please let me know if i missed anything i've only been on two cruises not too much okay please let me know if you guys want more videos of like traveling and things like that please let me know if you have seen my traveling video before if you liked it if you didn't let me know in the comments below like what do you think what do you think but yes i really appreciate you guys watching and i hope to see you in the next one and i hope to see you in the next cruise video when we won carnival mardi gras so if you haven't yet seen my carnival venezia and carnival celebration videos i suggest you do that i will link them down below if you want to see more about my hair or just my life in general you can watch my vlogs and i truly appreciate you for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.